Chapter 516 When Sean returned to the Richard family home, Olivia hurried forward and greeted him with joy, Sean, you're finally home. Did the Baker family fix you? Sean huffed in annoyance, they couldn't fix me at all, in the end, they asked Alex to cure me. Alex? Alex Anderson, Olivia asked in surprise, so, did he heal you? Sean sighed, yes, but just the necrosis, it's still unusable. Olivia said indignantly, then you shouldn't let the Baker family go so easily, especially Alan. It was you fooled you into taking their lousy medicine and caused you so much distress and misery. You have to let them heal you no matter what. Sean's expression was distant and cold. I let the Baker family go because of Alex, but when I return to Westcliff, I will pursue the Baker family on this matter. Olivia was stunned. Sean, are you going back to Westcliff? Sean glanced at Olivia emotionlessly and said, of course I'm going back. Oris Hill has given me enough bad luck already. Olivia immediately panicked when she heard that her god of wealth was leaving. She clung on him and said coyly, but Sean, I don't want to leave you. Take me to Westcliff with you, okay? Olivia knew that the Richard family had no hope of bouncing back this time. He had only given them $20 million out of the $90 million investment that he promised them. It wasn't even enough to cover the debt. She had nowhere to go now. Everyone in Oris Hill already knew about her being Sean's mistress, so it was almost impossible for her to find a decent husband to marry in the city. Therefore, the only option she had right now was to cling on Sean and never let go. This was the only chance she could start anew. However, how could Sean take her to Westcliff? He was married, what if his wife found out about her? World War III would erupt in no time. Besides, it was useless for Sean to bring Olivia with him. He couldn't do anything to her right now. She had lost the sole purpose as a lover. So, Sean said in a direct and harsh manner, No, I can't, Westcliff is not someplace you can go to. Just stay in Oris Hill. Olivia shrieked frantically, Then, what should I do? What else can you do? We are over. As for the future, let's see when I'll be coming to Oris Hill again and we'll see if there's still fate between us then. The entire Richard family was equally confused and stuttered when Sean suddenly decided to leave. Lady Richard was expecting Sean to give them the remaining $70 million as he promised, but if he left now, it would devastate the family to the point of kicking them into the abyss. They had no other way to go except declaring bankruptcy. Besides, due to the outstanding debts, even the deteriorating mansion might be put up to cover the debt. Lady Richard saw Sean as their floating boat in the ocean of debt. If he left, the Richard family would be in despair again. So, she pleaded to Sean, her eyes reddish and her voice hoarse, Sean, if you leave now, our family is done. We are family, Olivia is your lover, you can't just leave us. Then, she hurriedly blurted, why don't you take us back to Westcliff? We'll follow you like loyal servants, you are our boss. Harold father interjected, yes. Sean, throughout your stay in the city for the past few days, we have treated you like a distinguished guest. My father saved your father's life too. Please, I beg you, please be merciful and take us to Westcliff. A dash of irritation flashed across Sean's eyes. He sneered and said, that's so funny. We aren't related at all, why do I want to take you to Westcliff? He added, furthermore, yes, your father did save my father, but I've returned the favor by investing 20 million in your company, so that's it between us.